he is. He's hanging out. Look, I'm so close to him right now. Hello, Hydrox. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Seven forty seven AM and it is still snowing. It's supposed to stop in a few hours and the weather's supposed to get warmer, but it's just horrible. So this is what a container of cat grass looks like after the cats have been chomping on it for I don't know, maybe like a week now. And this is what the cat grass would look like if no one had been eating it yet. I actually planted two of these at the same time, one I gave to the cats and one I've been just kind of holding on to. And they're really excited to have some fresh grass. I guess once it gets um, low at a certain level, they don't like it anymore. I guess they know that the nutrients are, you know, here, up here in the greener parts. Three cats eating the cat grass at the same time. I need to plant some more. For breakfast, because I forgot to defrost raw food, they're each having a packet of the Muse natural tuna recipe with the shrimp in broth. So there's three packets there and a packet for Boo. Boo's eating his food. I did not have to bribe him with anything. And the other cats are eating their food. The question is how much are they going to eat? Are they just going to taste it and leave it or are they going to eat it? They should like it. I feel like there's enough flavor enhancers in here for them to eat it. 9.24 a.m. I just walked into the kitchen and Simba's still eating the cat grass. They really enjoyed this cat grass today. Look at it. That was so fresh and tall just a few hours ago. Hello, Splash. I just looked downstairs to see if they ate their food. And here's Splash. I don't know what he's doing. Look at his tail. His tail is like all big. What are you doing, Splash? You playing with somebody? Are you and Stella fighting? What's going on, Splash? This is their breakfast platter. It looks like they pretty much ate everything. There's a few bits stuck to the bottom. It's 10 a.m. and the snow is starting to melt because it's a bit warmer today, thankfully. And we could see some cat tracks through the snow. You see the two sets? There's a lot of leaves on the snow right now also. So there's two sets of cat tracks. And they come over here and they all lead to the cat shelters under the house. So that's good. So here we are in the driveway. Look at this. Look at all the cat tracks in the driveway. There's like three sets.
I just gave Hydrox a can of the Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest. I also put some crunchies in there, some water, and there's some warm water on the side. And look where Hydrox is, do you see him? He just came out of the shelter, and now he's hanging out there in the leaves. I specifically have not cleaned those leaves out because I figured he would like to kind of maybe lay in them. They provide some insulation from the cold concrete. So, all right, I have to put the table back. Hydrox is sitting under the patio furniture and look, here he goes. He should walk over to it, which is amazing because I'm standing not too far from it at all. Look at that, look how brave he's getting. See, Hydrox and me are becoming buddies. We're becoming friends. He's becoming less afraid of me. Hydrox is eating his food. It's really weird to have snow and leaves at the same time. Normally, you know, snow doesn't start falling until all the leaves are off of the trees. But it was so early this year that there's still a lot of leaves on a lot of trees. And, um... Yeah, it's strange. I'm surprised that there weren't more trees down or more branches down. I remember, I think it was, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago, somewhere around then, when we got a really freak October snowstorm. And I remember driving in that, and it was like driving through a war zone because like giant branches would just snap off the trees because the snow was too heavy on the leaves. And I mean, it was really dangerous and trees were falling down like everywhere. And that's what happens when it snows, when the, the trees still have all of their leaves. Um, you know, the trees, the snow, if it's really heavy, accumulates and then it just starts taking the trees down and definitely taking branches down. And it can be, you know, very dangerous if you're driving and then all of a sudden, like a huge branch falls off of a tree and uh, onto your car or worse if you're walking and that happens so it's definitely this is probably like the second time that I've seen snow while uh, the leaves are still very much on the trees so now there's like this mess but I'm not shoveling it it's just gonna sit there and melt today that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna let everything melt naturally at this point the snow is really heavy because it has already started to melt and there's big puddles and uh, piles of slush uh, like all along the road and everything so it is 7 45 p.m. we just ended today's live stream and I want to give a shout out to Clyde S for his $20 super chat donation and another shout out to Durfo 20 for the $5 super chat donation thank you both so much for your support of this channel. Today I learned a new way of how to play with these cat charmer toys and this is what Stella told me she wanted me to do. So basically I hold on to two of these cat charmers and if I only had one I would just hold on to one. And all I do is I walk around the house like this and the cats go wild chasing them. Literally all I do is walk around the house with these, so what that does is it gives the cats a lot of exercise because Stella goes running in the kitchen, she goes running down the hallway, and um, yeah, I would have never thought to do that until Stella told me that's how she wanted to play with them. Okay, Simba. Okay, so Simba was just um, chasing these charmers around the house and he lunged at them um, on this play rug and then he started limping on his back leg this back leg the right back leg so um yeah hopefully he didn't hurt himself I mean, it was just like literally he just like lunged at it so I think like maybe he like jammed it or something and then it looked like he was limping on it but I can't be 100% certain but hopefully he did not injure himself again like he did earlier this year. Here's Simba. He's sitting in the scratch and roll. He just kind of lunged at Boo. He didn't really swat at him much, but Boo kind of meowed. Here's Boo. Boo was in the cat tower. 
until he jumped down. And then after he jumped down, that's when Simba lunged at him. Here's Stella. Stella's in the other scratch and roll. Stella had some playtime with the cat charmers. Now she's just kind of hanging out, looking around, relaxing. She doesn't like it when the boys fight with each other. And there's Splash. He's hanging out in the hallway. He was playing with the cat charmers also. But right now he's just hanging out in the hallway. Stella's so funny. You could totally see like every emotion on Stella. Like when she's happy, you could totally tell it. When she's not happy, you can kind of see the gears that work in her brain. Like what is she thinking about? She's thinking about something. How do cats think? Like what do you what do you think? Like how how do you think cats think? Like they don't think in like English language, right? Like they don't think in language, so do they think in pictures? Do they think in like emotions? Like how do cats think? Like we know cats think. It's obvious that they think because cats are smart. But how do they think? Like they don't think in language. Like they have not been taught to write or to read. And they also don't speak. They have not been taught to speak English. But I wonder how much they like understand. They don't have the physical capabilities of speaking. But how much do they understand and how do they think? We know that they do have like thought processes, but how do those thought processes work? Like, is there a cat language that we don't know about? 9.37 PM. I just looked over at the cat tower and this is how Simba's sleeping. It is about 6.50 a.m. And I'm up early today because I need to get out early today. And I gave the cats the tablet with the cat charmer video on it. They have not had this tablet in a really long time. And um, so Boo's enjoying it. I figure it will keep them entertained while I get dressed and ready for my day. And then, then they'll have their breakfast at 7.19 a.m. Both Splash and Simba were sitting by the windows, which is why I went and got the camera to film it. But right now it's only Simba, because Splash jumped down. For breakfast, the cats are having their Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Frozen Chicken Bites, and that's all they're having. I totally ran out of the homemade raw food, and I need to go out and buy more meat. Originally, I was going to do that last night, but with the horrible weather and everything, um, I didn't have a chance to do that. So that's what they're having. And Boo is having a treat. He's having half of one of those small cans of the Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest, along with a little bit of his favorite baby food, which is the chicken pot pie. And he's also getting his herbs. He's not getting herbs as often as he was in the past, um, like twice a day when his teeth were falling out. But he is still getting them like 
once every few days. I want to kind of keep him on maintenance because he has not lost any other teeth that I know of. Um, it appears that we've stabilized his mouth, which is good. And uh, I'd like to keep it that way. So that's what I gave to him. There's Hijax. He's under the house. He looks like he just came out of a shelter. I'm gonna give him some food. I just gave Hydrox a can and a half of this Harbor Harvest um, and also some crunchies. And then he's getting some water. And here he is. He's hanging out. Look, I'm so close to him right now. Hello, Hydrox. You want some food? There he goes. He's eating his food. And I really don't have any time to stick around and watch him or film anymore because I need to be out of here like ASAP. It is 7.51 p.m. I just got home. I have been out since 8.20 this morning. I honestly thought I would be out for like three hours, four hours tops. And I've been out all day. Like, I mean, it's almost 12 hours at this point. I have been getting so much Christmas shopping done. I have just had like such a really great day. Um, and I figured, let me just get as much as I can done today. So anyway, so I literally just got home. And I went inside, and then I came out, and Hydrox was sitting right here. And I was in and out, like, twice now already, and Hydrox has been sitting, like, right near the steps. And right now, he's meowing. Hydrox moved over here to that, like, plastic rug on the patio. And now he's meowing for food, so it appeared that he was sleeping in the shelter and then he walked out of the shelter because that's where it looked like he came from. And I just need to finish unloading the car and then I'm going to give him some food. Hydrox, I'm just about to give you some food, okay? I'm going to give you some food. I got to unload the car, okay? Okay? I just gave Hydrox a can of the Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest and I put a few crunchies on it and as I was putting the food under the table Hydrox started walking towards me but then he caught himself and he's like wait a minute I can't walk towards you I'm afraid of you so then he just kind of stopped then I said it's okay Hydrox don't worry so then I put the plate under there and then he like walked under the patio table a little bit and then right now I'm standing on the steps and he's eating his food. He's really starting to communicate with me. Today the cats are having the Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest um, canned food. They're each getting half of the can. And what I realized as I'm um, serving them this is that this is definitely not a pate at all. There's a lot of big hard chunks of tuna in here. And today, um, when I looked out the window and I was watching Hydrox eat, it looked like he was having uh, some issues with his mouth again. Um, because he was eating and then he just like abruptly stopped and then he like turned around and then he like second guessed himself. Should he go back and eat? Should he not go back and eat? And then he kind of moved away and then like he decided to go back into um, the shelter. Um, and he really should be fed soft pate food and this is not soft pate food so i have to make a note not to feed him um, any more of this um, harbor harvest flavor even though he likes it and even though he eats it um, he did look like he was having difficulties and as i was portioning this out for the cats i realized why there's a lot of firm chunks in it you can see here like that big chunk of tuna. That's a pretty firm chunk of tuna. It's not soft like a pate. And in this portion also, you could see some really big chunks um, that would uh, put a bit of pressure on his teeth. So the cats are getting the Harbor Harvest with some freeze dried rabbit nugget on top. I kind of crushed that up and sprinkled it on top. Splash is looking for his portion. And there's Boo, he's eating on the bottom step. And for some reason, Splash just ran up the stairs. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.